Come on, sweetheart. Come on, Lenny. <laughs> oh, I love you. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little bit since I posted my last video, but my husband and I redid our living room floor. So we had to completely sand all of our old stain off of our floor and um, put new stain on and then put some poly coats. So it looks so good. We put this rug over it um, to try and help protect it a little bit from Lenny's little paws. But that is what it looks like. So now kind of our next next step to our renovation is putting um trim in and we're gonna paint all of our old existing trim white and then buy new trim that we took out so this is what the floor used to look like we're gonna be putting um carpet in our bedrooms here so you can kind of tell this is what the new stain looks like compared to the old stain it's about like 10 o'clock right now. I had a relaxing morning with my husband before he went to work. And now I need to study for my NCLEX. I've been studying about four hours a day now that it's coming to crunch time. I am very confident in myself, but I'm also extremely nervous. So I'm just trying to do everything I can so that if something bad happens and I don't pass, um, I can't really beat myself up, up about it because if I've done everything that I can, um, then I just kind of got to know that whatever happens, happens. So I'm making some eggs right now. I'm going to make a little, um, egg burrito with cheese and I'm going to make it on these gluten-free tortillas. So that's what I'm going to have for breakfast. This is my final breakfast burrito here. I just have two eggs with cheese and some everything but the bagel seasoning on top from Trader Joe's. And I'm just going to drink some water and start on my NCLEX review. So I just got ready. I am going to go out into town and run some errands. So I finally put some makeup on. I haven't put makeup on for probably like two to three weeks now. So I've honestly been loving just be being natural. I feel like my skin has gotten so much better and it's just so much easier to just be all natural. So I'm going to show you guys my outfit quick. So I'm just wearing this really cute dress from Target. It's just like a maxi dress. Um, and the shoes that I'm wearing are also from Target and they're just these like cheetah print with tan sandals. And then um, I'm also wearing this bandeau which I got from Target as well. And my glasses are from Warby Parker. I showed you guys them in my Warby Parker try on haul. I really wish I could bring Nanny with. Does anyone wish that they could bring their dog with them everywhere they go? Literally hate leaving him because he always wants to jump in the car with me. Do you know I'm leaving? Do you know I'm leaving, Babas? I'm sorry. <laughs> Lenny's about eight months old now, and we still put him in his kennel while we leave, just because we don't have 100% trust in him yet with our house. So whenever I try and get him in his kennel now, because we moved it downstairs, he like forbids to go down there. So I'm gonna go put Lenny in his kennel and then go run some errands, and then I will be back. I just made it home after all of my errands and let Mr. Lenny out. Where's your mango, bud? <laughs> Anyways, so I got some new gluten-free items that I just wanted to show you guys. So I stopped at this little um, 
like natural foods place and bought these two new breads. I've never tried these before. They are, they are both gluten free, but I just didn't feel like going into our big Walmart that we have in the area. Um, so I just went into this little store and got these. So I'll give those a try. Um, my husband and son and I absolutely love these Pacific Foods Cream of Mushroom and they are gluten free. Only 80 calories. We use this to make um, stroganoff with hamburger and just some noodles. So it's a quick easy meal. I got some of those. Um, I got some chicken and some ground turkey. I'm going to be making stuffed peppers with the ground turkey. And then I'm going to be making this garlic parmesan um, chicken and potato recipe for tonight. I'm just going to throw that into the crock pot. These are the potatoes that I bought. Just these gold potatoes. And then I also went to this little bake shop. And got myself a little gluten-free protein bar. It's just like a protein base, or sorry, peanut butter protein base with chocolate on top. And then I got this buffalo chicken dip and it is keto and gluten-free. So I'll save this for whenever we have people over or something like that. So now that I'm home, I always change into some comfortable clothes and take my makeup off. <laughs> Just, I, I don't know. I've just been like liking to do that lately. Especially the makeup part. So. All right, so I diced up two chicken breasts with one and a half, maybe pound of potatoes. And this is a recipe that I'm using. It's um, from the Fit Slow Cooker Queen, I found it. So it says two pounds, boneless, skinless. I'm pretty sure I have less than that in there, um, but I'm just using what I got. So it calls for a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, the grated stuff. So I'm not going to measure this or anything. I'm just going to add. That's about good. And then um, the shredded Parmesan cheese goes on after this is almost all cooked. One tablespoon of the Italian seasoning. I added one tablespoon of garlic powder. It calls for two garlic cloves. I just put um, a bunch of this garlic in there. I don't have fresh garlic, but we, we use this a lot and we like it. And now I'm just going to add one tablespoon of olive oil and some salt and pepper and then turn this puppy on high for two to three hours so i will we i will link this um, recipe down below for you guys in the description box so you guys can check it out so this is what it looks like with all of the ingredients i'm just gonna give this a stir it's kind of weird the first time i made this it was kind of weird that there wasn't very many wet ingredients but the potatoes and the chicken do release water when they cook, so um, it is moist. I know a lot of people don't like that word, but <laughs> it's not dry or anything like that. So this is a very good recipe, and it is kid and husband approved, which in this household means a lot. So now that I got that mixed all together, I am just going to let this cook for three hours on high. So I got some new cleaning products from Grove Collaborative. Um, they sell the Mrs. Myers products. 
So I just wanted to show you guys the new uh, products I got because I absolutely love their new scents. And um, a lot of my family members ask me which scents I like. So I recently got this Bluebell scent and it smells so good. Another one of our favorites is this Plumberry. Super good. Something else we just got is this linen and room spray. It's the Caldrea line. And this is the Pear Blossom Agave. So you just kind of spray it on your couch or your curtains or anything like that. And it just kind of freshens the room up. And we absolutely love this. It smells so good. So it's, it's something super nice to do to just, you know, freshen up your house a little bit, especially before guests come over or if you have a dog that loves to lay on your couches, <laughs> you can kind of freshen up the area that he is always on. Right, Bob? So I just wanted to show you guys that quickly. Um, now that I'm home and I got dinner prepped and ready. I did the dishes. I cleaned the house. I'm going to study again. So that is what my life consists of before I take the NCLEX. So I have my little spot ready at the table, my laptop, and my um, Hearst review book. So I'm going to get to studying again, unfortunately. But I am fortunate enough to have already past nursing school and everything like that but you know it is really hard to study every single day but I'm trying to stay positive about it and I know that I will benefit from this in the long run if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down in the in the description box your favorite part of the video and I will see you guys in the next one